The 2022 NBA offseason showed many talents finding new homes and some returning to their same teams. Today, we look at three NBA stars and how they're finding success in new situations, starting with number one, Donovan Mitchell. As you guys know, Donovan Mitchell got traded to the Cavs in a trade involving the Utah Jazz. The Cavs, they acquired three-time All-Star Donovan Mitchell from the Jazz in exchange for Colin Sexton, Oshai Abaji, Larry Markkinen, a 2022 first round pick and three unprotected first round picks and two pick swaps while this was a massive haul for just one player the Cavs so far do not regret this trade they currently sit as the third seed in the eastern conference as donovan averages 30 points four rebounds and five assists on a night on 63 percent true shooting he's given this Cavs team a new look as they transcend from last year's tall ball lineup Garland and Mitchell, they've had nothing but nice things to say about each other as they start to share the backcourt. After their first win of the season, Mitchell told Akron Beacon Journal, I think we saw a bunch of things that make the game a lot easier for both of us and where we like to be, putting ourselves in the same action. And I agree, these two look amazing when they're sharing the backcourt together. If you guys have been watching the Cavs this year, you can just see the dynamic these two share is it's up there with the other elite backcourts in this league. Donovan, he takes on the scoring hall while Garland is able to just facilitate and play as the primary ball handler. If Mitchell is seeing shooting slumps, which we all know he's very capable of. Just the other night, I think it was against the Pistons I was watching, he had 30 points and I, I think the announcers, RJ, was clowning him saying that oh he's nine for 23 and he still has a 30 piece i wish i could be like that and it's true even when he's not efficient donovan is putting up points and I still think the ceiling for this team is probably a second round exit or a possible victory than a conference finals loss, but I can't lie and say that it isn't working so far. I am eager to see the rest of this team's future because they're all just so young and it's really from the top to the bottom. Darius Garland, Donovan Mitchell, Jared Allen, Evan Mobley, they're just all so young. I'm also eager to see how the rest of the season plays out for the Atlanta Hawks because number two on our list today is DeJounte Murray. Now, I understand this hasn't been what you'd call the best week for the Atlanta Hawks. The other night, Trey and DeJounte, they combined for 83 points, and they still lost to the Houston Rockets, even after boasting and taunting and head-tapping their way through the third quarter. Nonetheless, that doesn't take away from the play of DeJounte. He's averaging 20 points, 6 rebounds, and nearly 7 assists on 52% true shooting. But most importantly, he's been playing his role very well. He isn't taking away from Trey's offensive flow, but more so adding on to it. And the nights where Trey is struggling everywhere but the free throw line, we see DeJounte step up on both offense and defense. And this is really nice to see because most people just thought this duo would pair well just because of the defense that DeJounte would bring. Obviously, Trey is a bit of a lackluster perimeter defender, but the offense that DeJounte has brought to this team, it looks really good. The Hawks as a whole, maybe not so much. I don't know what's been going on with John Collins or some of the other supporting cast, but John, he did have a good game the other night against the Heat. He looked a little bit more active on the lobs from Trey and DeJounte, and it's always nice to see that. The Hawks, they're four and six in their last 10 games, and they sit as the five seed in the East, which admittedly is not the worst for how they've been performing forming this year. A lot of Hawks fans, they're starting to get frustrated with head coach Nate McMillan saying that he is not the person that's going to lead this team to the finals. I, for one, have not seen more than three or four like fully watched Hawks games, so it's hard for me to make a decision on that. I've just been watching them recently this week while I've been sick and laid up and I have nothing but time to watch basketball, but I will say that some of his rotations, they do look a little bit carbon copy. It's never good to see a coach make subs as an entire unit. It, like taking five guys off the floor and then putting five brand new ones back on a team and a coach that has been exceeding a lot of expectations recently though are chauncey billups and the portland trailblazers and obviously number three on this list Jeremy Grant. I've seen a pretty good amount of Blazers games this year with and without Dame, and one constant has just been Jeremy Grant. He's averaging 21 and a half points, 
four and a half rebounds and two assists on 62% true shooting and 48% from the three. If you guys have been watching the Blazers, you know and just see how great he has been from downtown. His release is lightning fast and it always seems like he catches the ball in the pocket that's so high. So he catches it and it's instantly gone. Like I said, he has such a high release point. It's hard to block or close out or even just make a good contest when it's happening so fast. The Blazers that currently sit as the seven seed out west and are for sure missing the likes of Dame right now, but the rest of the roster has been really trying their hardest to pull their weight. Guys like Josh Hart, Anthony Simons, and obviously Jeremy Grant have been really just stand out. I don't know what the ceiling is for this team. As I said that in my video before the season started, even though they're doing well, I still, I just don't know. But what I do know is that it's really nice to see Jeremy Grant kind of go from a role he was too small for in Denver to a role he was maybe a little bit too big for in Detroit to now a perfect 2A or 2B guy in Portland alongside a Damian Lillard and Anthony Simons. Those were three NBA stars that were all balling out in their new threads with new teammates. Which are you most impressed with? Let me know in the comments below. I'm sorry this was a shorter video today, guys, but like I said, I have not been feeling the best, but I do appreciate the support you guys have been showing. If you made it this far, I appreciate you as always. I hope you all have a great rest of your day. Peace.